Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Speed fight carrying on. Now, if you just watched my last video, I got this bike happily running, um, up and down the road 20 times, hitting 30, 32, 33, 35 mile an hour, 40 mile an hour downhill, getting a bit more, so I was happy. Left it a couple of days, um, started it each morning, good as gold, starts bang on. However, this morning went for the MOT. Now it passed the MOT, very happy to change back tire as you know from the last video. However, just ran like a bag of poo. Now, if you remember rightly last time, I couldn't adjust the air petrol mix on this one because it wasn't a, it was a fixed little one. So I'm gonna show you a quick life hack today and what I intend to do. Now I already took the cover off and did the little job. I wanna show you how easy it is to do so then you can tune your carburetor. What you're looking at now is the variator, and here is the carburetor. Simple hacksaw. Place it here, and go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth like you normally would, and it will cut through this alley really quickly, and into this little screw. So easy, so, so easy, that now I can just push that there, and it comes out nicely. That is your air petrol mix. Now there's a spring in here, let me just get hold of the spring so I go all the way in now I'm guessing where this was before look how much that goes in so it's one two three half turns and you adjust in or out to get the better speed or sounding of the bike basically with better running should I say one another one so it was out nearly six half turns which is like basically a 40 not a 2 -tee. And there's the little spring. Do not lose that spring, you'll never get hold of it ever again. Now I can tune this little bike. Variator, I wasn't happy with the rollers. They felt, they felt rough if I'm honest with you. Here's what I made earlier. I'm gonna change them. I'm gonna weigh these, as long as about 36 grams, I'm gonna weigh them. I'm gonna weigh these as well and see what they are. Now I do have some heavy ones. Now, if you watch my other videos, I used to combi them. So I'd put like eight or nine grams with three or four grams. And I used to combi them. But I found all round six grams, 36 grams in total for your variant was good. I reckon these are about, oh, these are heavy, about nine. So I might put three of these in after I've tuned the carburetor and three of the others in. But if they're not rolling right, then I'll put them in, combi them. So let's have a look how this goes. But she passed the MOT very, very nicely. And that's a nice new back tyre. Now, remember these two holes in the last video? I uncovered them because I went down my little hill here. I was doing about 15 miles an hour and it's splattering, splattering, splattering like I did the other day. And eventually it would take away. Um, it's not running in. The head's down properly. And I come up the hill and it started doing 15, 20 miles an hour. And of course I got stopped at traffic lights on a hill like this. Nothing, no pull away. Yeah, I scooped the lung a little bit and it was just embarrassing as I stopped, crossed the road, revved her up a little bit and then she went okay. So I'm thinking rollers and the air petrol mix. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. So if you've watched my tuning video, you need to have the engine running and then you tune it by listening how well it starts and then how it revs up. So we're gonna to listen to that so you'll hear what I'm saying, where it's splat, 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 I'll have it six half turns out where it was before, and I'll take it in. And you can literally hear the engine purring so much better, so much more healthier, it will start better, it won't gunk the plug up either. I've said this on other videos where you look at the plug, if it's all black and really heavy soiled, you're too rich. If it's really white, you're too weak. You want that nice coffee color on your plug with no bits of detritus, debris, anything on there. And then it will burn better, run better, happier bike, happier rider. <laughs> right, we're going to do this now. Now on my last video, I did this with my bar, my faithful hammer. But I said about this, this here I didn't like, wasn't right, too far out. This is a proper speed fight nut. And if you look in comparison, you can see it's completely different. That's not right. This is why a kickstart wouldn't work right. And you can see there, it's wrong. <laughs> but anyway, kickstart not engaged on this one. We're gonna get this off. And I wanna show you again how to do this so easy. Foot, hammer, J 
jam it in there, okay? Jam it in as hard as you can with your foot. Get hold of big bar and just quickly release. And there you go. Look at that, no messing around. And just the reverse when you want to do it back again. Belt, rollers, don't lose these little bits. Just not happy how they feel. They feel rough. I mean, I cleaned all these. I've only done a few, well, a mile, and you can see just a little line there. You see that? That means these are just, well, rubbing away. Time to chuck them away. Remember how to clean this with a clean rag. Now look, clean glove. So I did a good job of that the other day. But it's still dirt on there now. Remember to clean this. This should go through here nicely, which it does what I cleaned the other day. Wipe everywhere with a clean rag. Let's go and weigh these. So before the wife kills me, use a bit of clean kitchen roll and place it on her lovely scales. Okay, press the button. Hit zeros. And let's use these six little rollers he had here. So what is one way? If you have these six rollers, let's weigh one. Tear it, what it's supposed to do. And let's put this one on. Six grams. Six grams. Six grams. Six grams. Six. Six. Right, these are nicely 36 or 35 in total. It's not bad. Let's see what one of these weigh. Wow, they are 10 grams. Wow, they're heavy buggers they are. Right, I think I might put three of them and three of them. 49 grams. Let's tune it, see what it runs like with these ones. The rollers are left out with these 36 grams. They just feel rough. I'm not happy with them. I put in three 10 grams, so there's 30 grams there. And these were coming out as four grams, so I used three of them, so I've got 42 grams in there. I'm happy with that. So, quickly start it. She runs fine, put three half turns out. Didn't like it whatsoever. I've come all the way out and even took the screw out. No difference. I know that means jet size. This is 62. This is the original speed fight one. I know that because when I showed you in the last video, let me just take that out. Can you see how many turns there are on this one? It's much bigger here. The other one was longer. So I'm going to put this 62 jet in there. If you're not getting any joy with tuning on the air petrol mix, your jet is too big. I smell it running rich. I'll start it and show you. Starts well. Okay, it's better, not happy. Carb off, change the jet. I'm going to relook at that with my eyesight. I'm pretty sure it's 64. Put this 62 in there, unless I've got a 60 maybe, go down a little bit. Now that's a standard 50 head. This is why I say don't do 70 kits. I'm having all this trouble, and it's a 50cc engine with normal 70.5mm carb in there. Everything's standard. I'm still getting hassle with this. So the only difference is sports exhaust and a sports air filter. So I've got more air. And more gas is coming out, but still running rich, too big a jet. Too big, too small, can cause the same problems. Once I get that carburetor sorted, then I can relook at whether the variator is running right, got the right weight in there. I may have to play with that some more. What I'm trying to do now is get it running, but starts bang on, it does go up, but it doesn't seem to do that changing gear bit. That would normally indicate there's something wrong with the variator. Hmm, something to look at. We're going to play, but she does start and stop well. Make up and down the road. But I think I'll leave it now and see what it's like in the morning. 
Now, if in the morning when I start it and she just runs a bit crappy again, then I know I've got to mess around with it because it's not right. If it starts and runs that way, I can move on to the variator. It's a process of elimination, but it's something you've got to do. You can't have it the way it is. Right then, as I've said all along, bogging down. And this is what this was doing. Went for the MOT, got to the top of the hill, pulled back to scoot away, embarrassing. Now, in my last video, I said this tiny little thing here, that's the jet, was a 64, hold that thought. What the fuck? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> pretend it's still there. I thought of 64 jet. I was unhappy with it. I found another carburetor and I found a 62 jet in there. Now, as I showed you, I sawed it across there. I took the screw right out. It made no difference whatsoever. I did the rollers. So I've got 30 grams in rollers in three and I've got three rolls of four making 42 grams. 36, 42, still okay. Still wouldn't pull away. Started first time every time. I think this is what's misleading and I've said this before. Jet size is so important, it causes your bogging down. There's a few other little issues, but generally, jet size will cause bogging down. So, I went to someone with eyeballs, not me anymore, and I showed her the jet, and I said, what's that say on there? And she told me it said... 80. 80, not 64 like I thought it said. So it's an 80 jet, which I, I suppose I knew it was bigger than what I thought it was. So I've put a 62 jet in here now, and guess what? Pulls away much, much better. I could actually probably get down to a 60, maybe in a 58, and this bike then would give really good pull away. Remember, too much fuel is as bad as not enough. You're gonna get the same thing on it. Now, don't get mistaken, I've got a guy who keeps messaging me. He pulls away, does it for about 20 seconds, and then the bike dies. That's to do with your petrol level, your float, how much you're sucking out of it, and all that lot. Forget that, this is just bogging down. So, the moment it's on a stand, you can rev the nuts off it. When you put it off the stand, you put your fat ass on it, you go to pull away, and you can scoop. That's literally how bad it is. Now, this does pull away, and I'll show you. Starting. Much better. Now, before it takes off, off, I'm still happy with that. An end of an end of an end. Um, why have I got this out? Um, fuel gauge wasn't working properly. Intermittent. Let me show you what that is quickly. Simple seat bucket out. This little wire, it just comes out. Okay, that was working fine. It was this, need a little bit of WD-40. And now, when I plug it in, we can see the fuel gauge going up. That's not what I was trying to explain. It's just, you find little things. So I was trying to say to you the other day, go over things again and again and again and again. Right, why have I not finished this yet? I kept looking at the belt that I put on here, and I kept thinking, I've actually put the same belt that it came with back on there again. <clears throat> now, the rollers worked out 36, which was perfect. However, they were really grainy. So I put in 30 with three rollers and three rollers of four, so 42. I changed the jet, which we know now was an 80, eyeballs, now to a 64, which was much, much better. And I popped it all back on again. It was starting better, it was revving better. But you know what, it still wasn't pulling away better. It was really quite strange. I knew it was running right, so I thought I'll get the variator cover back off again. 10th, 12th time I reckon. So, took that off. Big fat wasp. Middle of September, angry, gone away. Anyway, so, remember when take the seat bucket out, always test the little clip that I showed in the last video when I fixed it. Reason being is once you slam this down, 
and that doesn't work, it's going to really piss you off. There we go. So, I took the Variator 2 off again, and I looked at it, and do you know what? It looked coarse in the runners. So, I had another Variator, I changed the Variator over, I put the right belt on, but back to 42 grams, now it starts as it should, and pulls away now. You get the little, uh, and away she goes. So, it was a combination of bogging down. As I said before, cumulative amount of things, it was the jet, it was the carb not set right, and it was the variator system. So I fixed all three items now, and now this pulls away like it should. Let me show you. And off. happier I know this is ready to go now okay right on a very lighter note some of you may notice my little tree here um and why there's some dog balls in there if you have watched my videos for a long time you know I had chickens but you know I had a little white Jack Russell bless her 15 and a half really emotional actually um, she went for a little bad patch I was promised I'd never let her go through any pain and she was going through some pain so I had to go to the vets and I had to get her put down. It's amazing how hard that is and how much it takes out of you, as big as you might think you are. And the vet's about a mile away and I hadn't, I hadn't intended I suppose to uh, get her put down and now were long but it was the right thing to do. Uh, he gave me a blanket and I wanted to carry her home one last time to walk her. So I walked her home and I always promised myself that we move, we're going to take her with her. So she bless her, I buried her in the pot, all the correct ways to do it, stones and so on before anyone mentions it. So I still get to see her, talk to her, and still get to see me doing the bikes. On that sad note, you take care of yourselves. Please keep watching. Another bike coming up very soon. Yamaha XT125. Been sat for 18 months. My next video will be what to do, how to get it back on the road, running right. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves on the road. Bye bye.